They call it the HP Omen 15, a Ryzen 7 5800H equipped laptop with the latest NVIDIA graphics, the RTX 3060. Now, if you want my full thoughts on the build quality, the user experience, I've done a full unboxing. You can check it out in the YouTube cards above. But in this video, we're gonna be coming up with these benchmarks in just a minute. But I'm gonna cover a couple things that I didn't cover in my unboxing as to bring the most value and not bring repetition onto the channel. First and foremost would be the webcam. Here's a quick sample of what the webcam is like along the top bezel of the screen. The webcam for the HP Omen, obviously you're hearing the audio right now. It is a little grainy in the background, but the color of the skin tones seems very natural, and so it doesn't make you really orange or super blue or green, so I really like that about it. Now regarding the color accuracy, this is the same screen as last year, so we're still seeing solid color accuracy coming out of this laptop. It's nice to see a mid-range laptop in the gaming category coming with 99% sRGB. That's fantastic for us creators. Now the speakers are something I had questions about when running the unboxing. Here's the audio experience for you. The upgrade path on this laptop is very simple. You just pull off the bottom cover, you can easily access the extra M.2 slot or replace the current M.2 that exists there and swap the RAM right in the center of the laptop. Very easy to access, quick and easy swap. And I recommend Team Group RAM. I'll link them in the description below if you're interested. They have a lifetime warranty on their product and I've been very happy with using them on the laptops here in the studio. This laptop comes in a number of variations from eight to 16 gigs of RAM and a number of CPU variations and GPU variations. So if you're curious about the exact pricing of this specific model, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do make a purchase with that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. That's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, one question I had during my unboxing in the comment section was, are the thermals and fan noise improved from last year? And I would say the fan noise is about the same. We still have that kind of light coil one taking place at around 40 to 42 decibels and the fans kicking up to about 60 to 65 decibels in DaVinci Resolve and then anywhere from about 45 to 55 decibels in Premiere Pro. Now unfortunately with the increase in performance you're going to see here in just a minute in the benchmark specs comes with increased temperatures. Where last year's model saw about 78 degrees Celsius, this year's model is seen about 86 degrees Celsius stabilized during the 4k export. So this is a rather warm laptop with those new equipped components. That's one area where if you're gonna check out my full head-to-head -head review, I would lean people towards the last year's model if you want a cooler laptop overall. Same battery as last year and about the same battery performance. We're seeing decent battery life for web browsing, video streaming, and then for Photoshop and Premiere Pro. Now for Photoshop, I run the Puget Systems benchmark test on repeat at half brightness till the battery goes dead. And for Premiere Pro, I run a 4K playback project on repeat looping until the battery goes dead. That's how I get those results. As we're getting into the performance benchmarks, if you want the entire list of all the benchmarks I run and the results, you can get that by texting the word OMEN to 850-306-4644, and I'll text that to you. Now let's jump into the performance benchmarks in Cinebench R20, R23, Geekbench, Single Core, and Multi-Core. In 3D modeling, this laptop packs a pretty good punch for Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, Autodesk 3ds Max, and SolidWorks. If you're looking for an After Effects laptop, the After Effects general benchmark as well as the render benchmark are scoring solid scores here from the HP Omen. For Premiere Pro export times 1080p up to 6K, this laptop handles the gamut fairly well. It's red footage takes quite a while, but the B-RAW on the HP Omen is exporting fairly quickly. Moving on to Premiere Pro Playback, we're seeing zero drop frames for 4K, and then you see an increase in 6K drop frames as you move up from B-RAW and then into RED footage. 
If you're using this laptop for graphic design, photo editing, or really just any of the standard design tools out there, this laptop will have no problems with those programs. You can see it's scoring one of the top positions on the Photoshop Puget Systems benchmark test. Now, one way you can get some increased performance out of this laptop is upgrading the RAM to 32 gigs. 32 gigs, I think, is the real upgrade sweet spot. If you're at 16, you're doing good you got some good performance. If you go up to 32, you can get actually 100 extra points of performance out of the Photoshop benchmark. But if you go up to 64, you only increase by about 30 points in performance. So it's really not worth that upgrade from 32 to 64. Either from 8 to 16 or 16 to 32 is the upgrade path that I would go for. If you're considering the latest HP Omen versus the 2020 model, you can check out that video in the YouTube cards above. If you're ready to make a purchase, links are in the description. Likes if this video has brought you some value and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next video.